Hi there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to package a ROM for distribution as a one-click. Heimdall One-Click is an automation utility. It contains all dependencies, installs drivers, deploys bootloaders, and fits into a nice Java JAR file which works on Linux, Windows, or Mac. This is a fully open source distribution method. It is the easiest way to install software onto your device. This is a very powerful program, so remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The methods that I'm showing you here are not applicable for every device, but they are best practices. So let's see how we can make a Heimdall one-click safely. Here we have our firmware package, which we wish to put onto the device. The files can be obtained through various methods, online or through a DD copy. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but uh, just remember you cannot copy the primitive bootloader off of an operational device. Please do some research before flashing bootloaders and pay attention to what the consequences can be. So with that said, in order to make a one-click, we need to start with creating a Heimdall tar.gz package. So we'll start by launching Heimdall front end. So here's Heimdall front end. The first thing we need to do is click on the flash tab and we will add our pit file. Now that we have a map of what partitions are available, we can begin placing the appropriate files in the appropriate slots. We'll start with the IBL plus PBL, which is the boot.bin file. Then we will go on to the SBL, which is SBL.bin, SBL2, also SBL.bin, the params, which is a param.lfs file, the kernel will always be zimage, same thing for the recovery partition, that is also the zimage file, or if provided there's a recovery image as well. The dbdata.fs file, which is dbdata.rfs, the factoryfs file, which is factoryfs.rfs, the cache, which is cache.rfs, and the modem, which will be modem.bin. The most important thing about creating a Heimdall package is to include all the bootloaders or none of the bootloaders. Now the bootloaders are the IBL plus PBL, the SBL, the SBL2, and the params. Also, repartitioning. You never want to include any bootloaders without repartitioning. The next most important thing is never make a firmware package without flashing it first. Alright, so now that the firmware flash was successful, we can get all the information that we need about the firmware package from settings and about. We'll go ahead and hit the create package tab, go to firmware name, this is stock, firmware, firmware version is EA24, platform name is Android, version 2.2. The home page, we'll put that as http colon slash slash adamoutler.com. Now let's make it one click that adamoutler.com. And you can put in your donation link from the forums right here. Put in your name. In my case, that's Adam Outler. Manufacturer of the device is Samsung, and this is a Galaxy Tab. CDMA, or P100. Add the device and click the Build button. You're going to want to name this a descriptive name, Galaxy Tab P100. EA24. Save. Alright, now that we have our package built, 
we can exit out of there and we can find our package right here. So now we'll open up the one click packager. And this is what it looks like. Very, very simple application. This one click packager will package up a one click file out of a tar.gz file. So we'll go to the P100 Galaxy tab, click our file that we just made, and hit OK. It will parse the tar.gz package and then generate a one click. We can close out everything and just execute the one click that was just generated. So here it is. Now let's go over some of the options available in Heimdall One Click. Hit the Detail tab and you can see where all the partitions are located, where all the files are located, what each file is, the number of blocks, if it's going to be flashed or not, and if it's a high risk uh, flash. So if you hit Help up here, you can use the Install Heimdall option which will give you an easy way to install Heimdall if you're on Linux or Mac. On Windows all you need is the drivers. So let's get a uh, flash going. Alright, so we'll flash bootloaders now. You get this pop-up and it says flashing bootloaders is risky. If you are unsure this package requires bootloaders, it's best not to flash them. By selecting yes, you understand that you are flashing at your own risk. We're going to hit yes. Now bootloader flashing is useful in the event that a device won't boot. Proper bootloaders may or may not be present on the device. If the one click was packaged correctly, flashing bootloaders is a helpful tool. If the one click was not packaged correctly, then flashing bootloaders can mean certain death to a device. Please make sure that you know what you are doing or your one click can end up as a one click nuke. Now let's talk about some of the safety features of Heimdall one click. First, the intended device is shown on screen, which will prevent a user from unknowingly flashing a package which is intended for another device. Second, Heimdall one click will not partition unless bootloader flashing is enabled. This ensures that there is a valid partition uh, data on the device after it's repartitioned. Third, Heimdall One Click won't flash any bootloaders unless it flashes all the bootloaders. This prevents bootloader mismatching. Fourth, Heimdall itself will only flash bootloaders at the end of a flashing cycle. This reduces the risks of flashing with a faulty cable because the flash will likely fail before it gets to a bootloader. Fifth, Heimdall One Click gives a warning that flashing bootloaders is dangerous, as you saw earlier. Sixth, if a user has a problem, they can click the Developer Website button. All these controls come together to make an intuitive package distribution system. And you can find the source right here on oneclick.adamoutler.com. Because of all the technical controls and engineering controls available in Heimdall OneClick, this is the easiest and most effective platform for distribution of firmware. So get out there and make yourself some one clicks. Thanks for watching.